Thank you all. What a great day, what a great crowd we've got. And you know, the last time that I felt this kind of energy and enthusiasm was at the Republican National Convention when we were addressed by the next Vice President of the United States, Sarah Palin. You know, I, I attended the convention, and I can tell you it was like a breath of fresh air. You know, her optimism and enthusiasm and passion for change has struck a chord with the American people. And we're fortunate to have her come to Indiana to join all of us. Now, there's somebody else that I want to mention who's been an agent for change in Indiana. He's brought change to Indiana that was very necessary and very needed at a time when we most needed it. He brought change to Indiana before change was cool. <laughs> yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, and he deserves to be reelected by a large, large majority at the election, our great Governor Mitch Daniels. It's an honor to be on the Mitch team with our great Lieutenant Governor Becky Skillman and, and the next Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tony Bennett. Now, personal note, I bring greetings from my wife, Carrie, and our three children. And just as each one of us want to protect our children and our families, I'm going to do that as your next Attorney General. You know, I, I've been working in the office with your great Attorney General Steve Carter for the last eight years, and I want to continue to fight to protect our children from online predators and from those who would take advantage of the seniors. I will continue to work to prosecute with our prosecutors and law enforcement and to keep our families safe. I also promise to fight against all forms of public corruption from corruption in government, and especially with vote fraud, as we've recently learned about thousands. That's right. The thousands of fraudulent voter registrations associated with ACORN. You know, these are in. You know, we. The individuals who betray the public trust must be held accountable. You know, I will continue to protect our families' privacy by fighting the telemarketers and in being vigilant to protect our do not call statute. In my, in my eight years of experience in the Office of the Attorney General, I have a clear understanding of what needs to be done. That, along with the passion for public service, drives me to be your next Attorney General. Thanks again, and God bless.